Hello, in this demonstration, we're going to show you how to print web exercises. I have on the right side here, I have the browser open up to our Gmail account already. And then on the left side, we have the app open. The first thing I want to make sure that you guys are aware of, if we go into the app, make sure that you have your email addresses set up um, the way that they should be. So we're going to go up here to clinic and information. And then down here, make sure that you have an email address set up for your office email and where to send reports to. This is really important because when you send a web exercises, it's going to carbon copy to uh, these accounts as well too, so you can open it up from an email. With that being said, the professional version of web exercises, um, not just the app version of web exercises, has the ability whenever you send a web exercise, it populates into their account. So you have more printing options from the web exercise platform directly. If you have the EXRX uh, CBP module that is just app only, you'll have to print it this way. With that being said, let's go into a case. So I'm gonna go into a client, and I'm gonna go into a client, and let's go ahead and first, after we're done, we're gonna go ahead and come down here to send. I'm gonna go ahead and send them first their, their email, so we're going to go ahead and send their email. So notice how it's already populated this as well. And then to the client. So we're going to go ahead and hit send. So we've sent that email off. But here, if we're going to go ahead and prescribe the exercise that we've already picked out for us. And we have another tutorial on that. We're going to go ahead and click send web exercises. So now when we click send web exercises, notice what happens here. Once we open web exercises, this is, you could print from here on the iPad if you chose to, because as you click through, as you click through this, these are the exercises. So if you wanted to print this, you could come up here to this little icon and choose to print. And there's my printer right here, if I wanted to print. You have to have an AirPrint enabled printer, obviously, uh, to be able to do that. And you can share it to any various icons you, you would like to. And you can also create a PDF document on your iPad and save that somewhere. Totally up to you. You have all these different sharing options. Um, when you install software, it gives you various options. This is all controlled by the operating system directly. We have nothing at all to do with anything that shows up here. Just so you know. Um, so if yours looks different, that has nothing to do with us particularly. Um, this is all controlled by your operating system. With that being said, since I've already prescribed an exercise, let's look over here to the email. So you can see that that email I sent out has already been sent out, here it is. But if I go back, notice that we have the exercise that I just sent out. It's right here, exercise. So for your client, here is their exercise. So if you clicked on that same link, you would get that same exercise that you just saw on the iPad. So you could open it up on your desktop, and then from your desktop, if you wanted to print, you could print from there, just from your browser. Here, we're using Chrome. You might be using something else, but I could go up and, and print right here, okay? So with that being said, that's two easy ways to print. Uh, you could also create a PDF document, I'm sure, if you go ahead and choose, I wanted to show you. I'm on a Macintosh, so uh, this might be a little different. You could save page as or print. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and print just to show you that it works. And what I'm gonna choose here on a Mac, if I choose PDF, I can go ahead and save as a PDF here. If I wanted to just go ahead and print it, I could go ahead and print right here, okay? So two different ways to print your web exercise. Remember, if you have the professional WebEx account, like I'm actually enrolled in here, um, you can open up in their WebEx platform directly and print and choose um, different types of layouts that suit uh, more than just having it laid out this way. So you can have two and four and six exercises per page and summary pages, things like that. <coughs> if you have any additional questions, if it's about exercises, email support at webexercises.com. If it's anything app related, you can email us directly at support at posturescreen.com. Hopefully this tutorial is very helpful and uh, I'll see you next time.